Notes Nook Review. I've been using Notes Nook as my private note-taking app for a few months now, and honestly, it's been kind of a mixed experience. The very first thing that pulled me in was its privacy-first approach. It's fully open source, end-to-end -end encrypted, and even has self-destructing notes, which felt like a cool James Bond feature. I've always been paranoid about where my data ends up. And with Notes Nook, I actually feel like my thoughts and journal entries aren't being quietly mined for ad targeting. The seamless sync between devices is also really solid. It just works without needing to jump through a bunch of hoops or create extra accounts. That said, Notes Nook is a minimalist tool, and that's both a strength and a weakness. If you're like me and sometimes just want to quickly jot down ideas, draft blog posts, or make journal entries without getting distracted by templates or a bloated UI, this app is perfect. The editor is clean, responsive, and supports markdown formatting nicely. But once I started wanting a little more structure, like pre-made templates for project planning, weekly reviews, or study notes, I realized Notes Nook doesn't offer any of that, not even basic templates. So everything you create starts from scratch, which can get repetitive if you're the type who relies on structure to stay organized. Another thing that bothered me was that you can't export your notes in offline editable formats. I travel a lot, and during flights or places with sketchy internet, I usually want to pull up my notes locally. But with Notes Nook, unless I've already opened the note while online, I can't access it or edit it later. That really limits its versatility, especially compared to apps like Upnote or even Bear, where I can always count on local access. The app does have some standout features, though. You can add passwords to individual notes, which is great for things like financial logs or private thoughts. And the self-destruct feature is neat for when you want to share something sensitive that disappears afterward. Still, it feels like a bit of a one-trick pony. It doesn't support media-rich content very well, like images, videos, or embedded files, and you can forget about syncing with other tools or platforms. There's no real integration ecosystem here. I paid for the premium plan after the two-week trial just to explore everything it offers, and at $49 a month, I expected a bit more, especially when compared to apps like Capacities or Craft, which feel more dynamic and offer way more for free. Notes Nook feels like it's best suited for someone who only wants to write in text, is extremely privacy conscious, and doesn't care about customization or templates. If that's your vibe, you'll probably love it. But if you're someone like me who switches between quick notes, visual planning, and deep work organization, it starts to feel a little too limited. So overall, I think Notes Nook is solid if you're looking for a secure, no-frills private journal. But if you're hoping for a fully featured productivity system that adapts to different workflows, you might want to look elsewhere. For now, I'm still using it, but only for writing thoughts I want to keep completely private. For everything else, I've found myself going back to Upnote or Notion more often than not, 